what's going on guys it's your boy peter and i'm back again with another video oh man i know it's been a long time i uploaded a video on this channel and that's because your boy had to go on a little vacation man you know in life you gotta know how to balance everything in life you know you work so hard sometimes you gotta find time to you know enjoy life a little bit but now i'm back and i'm going to try to you know upload more videos at least every day once a day you know what i'm saying and for you guys that have not subscribed or you know don't forget to subscribe to this channel and i'm back man i'm back on the grind you know what i'm saying i'm going to be making more videos for you guys man and if you have any questions please don't always forget to send me through the email my email is always down in the comment section instagram anywhere man i'm ready to help you guys out man so today i'm going to be talking about career tips for people that want to become an aircraft maintenance engineer and for you guys that have not watched my videos on how to become an aircraft maintenance engineer you can go down to the videos you can check it out it's right here man so today i'm going to be giving you guys the tips and things that can make you a better aircraft methods engineer you know what i'm saying we got to help each other how aviation it's a small industry for me it's a family industry so if you have ideas why can't you just you know help somebody out man so i'm really i'm here to give you guys the tips on how to become an aircraft methods engineer number one you want to learn as much as you can in school i know there for you guys don't know there are two ways you can become an aircraft methods engineer right either you go to school or you go to you know you work as an apprentice for four years you know what i'm saying but for you guys that will go to school you want to learn as much and that's why i think it's way more better for guys to go to school to learn because education is not only it's not only to learn but it's a good foundation you know what i'm saying it gives you an idea of what to expect in the industry you know what i'm saying you don't want to start an industry in five years down the line then you quit but education will give you an idea what to expect so that way you can actually decide oh do i want to continue this journey or do i want to end it here so and when you're in school you want to learn as much as you can you know what i'm saying so you want to be focused you don't want to just go to school waste money on you know on tuition tuition are not tuition are not cheap you know what i'm saying so you want to learn as much as you can in school stay focused make sure you graduate with accreditation i've said a couple of my videos accreditation is a really it's really important because without accreditation most companies will not hire you you know what i'm saying so you want to learn as much in school stay focused ask questions make friends you know you don't want if you don't understand something you can always that's why the professors are there you know and people are always ready to help you out so in school you want to learn as much as you can you know what i'm saying so that way when you get to the field you know you already have a good foundation of what to expect in you know no i, I when you when you when you're working right so you already have a good idea of what to expect you know what i'm saying so learn as much as you can in school so that way you become it helps you out a lot makes life more easier for also for for the ame guys that will teach you you know because whenever you get a job most companies always assign you to an ame guy that will you know guide you through for like two two months it depends on the company policy but hey you already know for example you already know in school they will teach you how to lock quiet you already have an idea of how to lock quiet you know what i'm saying it's not like oh you get to the job and you don't know how to lock quiet you know what i'm saying most people look at you like hey what is like why do you go to school there you know so you want to learn as much as you can in school so that way once you start once you get your first job you know what i'm saying it's way more easy maybe life becomes so much easier you know what i'm saying so number two you also want to develop a problem problem solving skills um as an aircraft maintenance engineer most of the time you're gonna be doing problem solving um solving um you gonna you're gonna be problem solving you know what i'm saying so and that's i think that's what makes you a really good engineer too you want to be that kind of engineer that they have a problem and they can really they know oh this guy is gonna fix it oh peter is going He's gonna know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? That way, and aviation, it gives you. It, it's a lot of. It's a lot. People know each other. You know, you wanna have that good reputation. Oh, this guy, he knows what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? And that way, life becomes so much easier. More opportunities come. You know what I'm saying? And for me, I didn't really have that problem solving school skill. It was something I had to develop with time. You know, even in school, then I was like, man, for me to become a maintenance engineer, most of the time. 
you know, you're going to have to be solving problems. So with time, I had to like, even, it doesn't have to relate to aviation. Maybe like, for example, your car break down, try to figure it out. Those things help you out. It gives you, it helps you out, you know, in developing that skill. And that skill will really help you out to become an aircraft, a good aircraft methods engineer. Number three, you want to build good relationship in the industry and you want to have a good reputation. Like I said, aviation is a really small industry. Everyone knows each other. You know what I'm saying? And you want to be that person that has good reputation. Because trust me, you might have employment on this job and you quit. But guess what? The same employer probably knows like 10 other guys in the other companies. You know what I'm saying? And that can actually screw your reputation and also good opportunities. For me, it's like, I always tell people like, man, why are you so mean to people? You don't want to have that bad, you don't want to be that guy that everyone is talking bad about, you know? And aviation is really small. Once you guys get to the industry, you understand what I'm talking how small the industry is. I have friends that actually work in Air Canada, in WestJet, in Sky Service. And the job I left right now, I just thought like, hey, I showed a guy, actually I showed a guy, oh, this guy, we went to the same school together. It was like, oh, I know this guy, we used to work together as an apprentice. I'm like, man, like, it's so crazy how small the industry is, man. And you want to have a good reputation because good reputation will get you far in life. You know, it's not only in the industry, but in general. But for the industry, you got to have a good reputation, man. Number four, aim to get your license and type course. For you guys don't know, for you to get a license, you got to check my other video to understand more, right? For you to get a license, you got to do an apprenticeship, two years, get your law book all signed up. But the main goal is to get your license. And after you get a license, there's something they call ACA. So ACA, most companies do provide that for you. You know what I'm saying? So after you get a, your AME license, you get your ACA. It's the type course. They can give you a type course for maybe... Airbus 223 two, or 737 Q400, it's a lot of them, but it depends on the company you work for and what kind of aircraft you work for, right? So for Air Canada, they have a lot. So they have the 777s, 87s, they have the 320s, 321s, Q400s. So you want to get a type course and that, trust me, once you get a type course, you have it for life, you know? And that way you have more, more, more opportunities. You can have a, I have, I know friends that they have the type course, they work in their full-time job. And because they have this type course, now they have a contract opportunity. So whenever they are not working, for you guys don't know, most aviation industry, right? It's a, there's a, the schedule is four, five, five. So basically you work four days on, you get five days on, you work five days, you get four days. You know what I'm saying? So they have five days off. They're going outside doing contracting because they have their license and they have that ACA type course. So you want to be that guy that has both of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on that. So I'm working on getting my type course as soon as possible. So once you get your, once you, get your you want to focus more on getting your license, you know, getting your license, your law book all signed up. Once you get your license, your law book all signed up, you want to get your AME license, you want to get your type course. As soon as, as, as soon as possible. So that way you get more opportunities, more doors open for you. You know what I'm saying? The last one, always remember safety first. And for you guys don't know, man, like, man, the industry we are, it's, it's, a, it's a really, it's a really fragile industry. You know, lives are involved in, you know, involved in this thing man so you want to everything you, everything you do you want to put yourself and this is the mentality i have man i whenever i do a job i have zoom i'm flying on that aircraft or my family are flying on that aircraft because people's life depend on this thing on your mental skills you know what i'm saying so wherever you're doing something you want to think of man the job I'm doing, is it right? Is it going to affect the safety of the aircraft? Is it going to affect the safety of me? So you want to think about safety every time, man. And that's why I really, I recommend you guys to watch this. Um, So on YouTube, there's this series called Mayday. I watch it every day. The reason why I watch it is because it, it gives you like, it tells you like most, it tells you um accident that has happened previously and what the cause is. And most of them are human factors, you know? Like it could be, most of them are human factors, mentally factors that actually cause the accident and killed a lot of people. 
You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to have that guilt in your heart. Like, man, I, I wish I had fixed. I wish I had done this thing properly. I wish I had, you know, done the maintenance properly. You know, and you can also go to jail for that shit, too. You can also go to jail. Also, so you don't want to put yourself in that situation. Always remember safety, safety. Wherever you do, safety first. Safety of the aircraft. Your safety. Safety of your co-workers. Safety of the passengers. Safety of everything, man. You know what I'm saying? And that will make you a really good aircraft maintenance engineer. And people will respect you. People will, people will you know, be like, man, this guy, I can trust him. I can trust him, you know, trust his work. You know what I'm saying? You want to have that. And that will give you a good reputation also in the industry, man. So, yeah, those are the tips for you guys that are actually considering, you know, becoming an aircraft maintenance engineer. And if you have any questions, man, always drop it down in the comment section. I'm always ready to help you guys, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Also, follow me on the Instagram. My Instagram is Peter Jan, and that's Peter J A N D E D. And also, my email, I'm going to put my email down in the comment section. You can email me, you can DM me, you can put it in the, com in the comment section. I'm always ready to help you guys, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Love these videos. Love you, boys.